CT images for LAA closures can be assessed using Trimencio for fast, accurate and reproducible treatment planning and sizing. To get started, open the dataset and select the LAA workflow. On the right side, a workflow assistant is present that will guide us through the assessment. During this workflow, we will assess the following four aspects. Presence of thrombus, LAA morphology, LAA measurements and LAA orientation. We will start with assessing if the LAA contains any thrombus. Double click on the axial view to enlarge it. Scroll through the slices to look for the four chamber view. From here, look for the LAA on the left atrium. If the LAA is not completely filled, this can be due to thrombus or due to a filling defect. If a late enhanced scan is available, this can be used to rule out thrombus. Once the LAA has been inspected for thrombus, we want to look at the LAA morphology. Click on the automatic button to obtain an automatic segmentation of the left side of the heart and all the corresponding structures. Rotate the segmentation to assess the LAA from all directions. The shape, position and relationship to the surrounding structures can quickly be assessed. After the LAA morphology has been assessed, press on the confirm button. On the right top view, we show a left ventricle line going from the apex to the left atrium. Hold the left mouse to rotate this view. When we do this, we have an excellent view on the LAA, pulmonary vein, cumulin ridge and the circumflex. In this step, we will place an initial LAA ring. We will do this by placing two landmarks, one on the cumulin ridge and one on the circumflex. Rotate around the LV line until the cumulant ridge is visible. Place a landmark with a single left click. Do the same for the circumflex. Once both landmarks are placed, click on Next. At the bottom right viewport, the segmentation can be seen with the initial ring in purple. This ring is going through the indicated landmarks. On the left bottom viewport, we see a cross-sectional view. Using this view, we can move the ring over the LAA. A predefined segmentation is also shown in this view. The view contains a crosshair with a crosshair view shown on top. Use the top views to place the LAA ring at the ostium of the LAA. Drag the line to the correct height and tilt the line using the circles on the end. Rotate the crosshair in the perpendicular view to assess the ostium in all directions. After the location has been defined, look at the segmentation in the perpendicular view. Adjust the control points if necessary by dragging them to the correct position. Add a control point by clicking on the line. To measure the dimensions of the ostium, click on the ring in the upper left corner. Automatically, several diameters, an area and perimeter are measured. A screenshot of these measurements can be added to the report to obtain a full overview of the assessment. To measure the landing zone, move into the LAA. The distance between the placed ring and the current position is displayed in the top views. Change the angulation of the plane if necessary. Check the segmentation in the perpendicular view. Once correct, click on the second ring in the top left corner. It is also possible to measure the depth of the LAA using the ruler measurement on the right. To assess the orientation of the LAA, we can place a center line going through the LAA. Click on the NPR viewport on the right to obtain an axial, sagittal and coronal view. Click on centerline to start placing the centerline. Place the centerline from the tip of the LAA to the ostium. Double left click to finalize the centerline. 
Once it has been placed, control points can be edited in all the views. To go out of the NPR view, uncheck the box on the right. Click on Next. On the right, an intra and extra cardiac view is given. This can be used to assess the relationship between the LAA ostium, landing zone and the pulmonary veins. On the top left viewport, the segmentation with the landing zone and ostium is visualized. To remove all the structures around the LAA, use the view selector and select LAA. This gives a completely free view of the LAA. At the bottom, the simulated NGO is shown. This NGO is computed from the CT of the patient and therefore patient-specific. The amount of contrast can be adjusted using the tools icon in the upper right corner. Rotate the NGO using the left mouse and search for projections that are suitable for the implantation. The corresponding serum angulation is shown at the bottom. Use the view selector to select a view only showing the LAA. Look at the center line to assess the direction of the LAA. All the information can be stored in one report for a complete overview of the patient.